Good morning, folks. The solar impacts have begun, including a geomagnetic storm and significant whack to the magnetic field. A story we've covered for years is going to take another turn, and we've got three important papers on solar forcing of precipitation, but we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. No more significant flares or eruptions. We still have several sunspots to keep an eye on here as we continue sunspot maximum phase. What we had been watching for was impacts from the minor CMEs and geomagnetic storm activity, and we got it. Impacts began yesterday afternoon and evening with only moderate plasma speed and density, but with the magnetic fields that coupled to Earth's, triggering a solid whack to our magnetic field as shown here in the magnetometer data one of the strongest we've seen this cycle. And yet, the overall geomagnetic storm only reached level 2, around KP6. Reverberations may occur here today as we continue watching the sunspots. They are complex, with numerous umbral cores in each of them. We'll also be watching the incoming limb for more of those sunspots as it appears that field activity indicates another set of active regions are on their way to the Earth-facing half. Folks, OSIRIS-REx capsule containing pieces of an asteroid have returned to Earth. While truly a remarkable scientific feat, I have been worried about this one since they announced it several years ago, especially with the potential for microbes, spores, or any other space contamination to occur. Instead of being subjected to the burning re-entry, it was safely returned inside the capsule, safely being used loosely. Hopefully they know what they're doing. Up next, we've got three papers driving forward the correlation between solar activity and precipitation. First one here looks at Africa and confirms what previous papers have shown, not only in terms of solar forcing of precipitation, but of temperatures as well. Those correlations have been found across the globe, including for the most extreme precipitation events, which is confirmed here in another paper preprint that came out this week. And perhaps no aspect of that extreme precipitation has been studied more in this subfield than the Asian monsoons. Clear correlations found again here for India for the sunspot maximum and minimum related to Hadley cell modulation by the sunspot cycle, one of the key ways the sun impacts the weather through large-scale oscillations, modes, and circulation. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.